you doing here? The first words out of his mouth were typical coming from Adam. To answer his question, I recounted the details of what had brought me to this place, and then I asked what circumstances led the Federation here. That information is not for an outsider. The word he so obviously chose, outsider, pierced my heart. Commander, we're all prepped. Our only option is to use the laser to slowly burn our way through. This is gonna take a while. The electrical system here is out, and we can't get the barrier wall to open. We tried using explosives, but it's tricky to pull off without collateral damage. What we need is some way to focus the power onto one centralized location. Adam hadn't authorized it, but I decided to remain on site for the sake of the others.
He's dead. Someone or something attacked him. Get away from me! <laughs> it was obvious that there was some pervasive danger throughout the facility. I didn't know what had brought Adam here, but I did know that cooperation was imperative if we were to restore safety. Adam, listen to me. Clearly this facility is in complete disorder. It might be too dangerous for your men to go alone. That's why I've... Look at that! They're coming out of the wall! All right, stay calm. Samus, looks like I'm gonna need to ask for your cooperation on this mission, but I'm also gonna have to ask that you follow my commands. 
You don't move unless I say so, and you don't fire until I say so. Any objections, lady? The thumbs up sign had been used by the Galactic Federation for ages. Me? I was known for giving the thumbs down during briefing. I had my reasons, though. Commander Adam Malkovich was normally cool and not one to joke around. Can, but priority one but he would end all of his mission briefings by saying, bring them to safety. Any objections, lady? He was joking, but others weren't. At the time, I felt surrounded by people who treated me like a child, or used kid gloves because I was a woman. And yet with Adam, I was grateful for the nod. My past has left me with an uneasy soul, and as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate, like Lady. And I knew more than anyone that every word from Adam was deliberate. 